Hey guys, Ryan with Delta League Canine here. So I got my little buddy Remy. He's a two year old Yorkshire Terrier. Um, I have six dogs today that I'm gonna be doing a snout to tail check with. If you don't know what a snout to tail check is, is we're checking dog all the way from snout to tail. When you go to the vet's office, your vet is gonna nonchalantly do this with, with your dog and any other dog that comes in. They wanna basically check the dog up and down from snout to tail, make sure they don't have anything on them, nothing in between the paws, nothing in the ears, make sure the teeth is good, make sure they don't have any eye boogers that are bothering them, you know, make sure the undergarments are all good and make sure everything is A-OK -okay with your dog. So the number one thing that, you know, coming up with the, the nicer weather, ticks. You gotta be checking for ticks, you know, fleas, things like that. Um, also any bumps or scratches that maybe your dog has accumulated that you don't know about. It's good to do this with your own dog on a daily basis, okay? Now Remy is a little bit easier because he's so small, he's only four pounds. But we're gonna get into some bigger dogs like a 97 pound Rottweiler and show you how, how easy it can be or difficult it can be with certain dogs. Uh, just depending on how hyper they are or how timid they are um, or how easy going they are. So we're gonna show you a couple different dogs. Stay tuned. All right, big boy. Oh, this is my dude right here. Huh? Oh, it's a big boy. Max is a champion of snout to tail checks. He just sits here, lets me rub on him, check him all the way down, and just really enjoys it, especially when I get right in here. Oh, that is a good boy. Oh, that is a good boy. Good job. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, buddy, good. But remember, you gotta check everywhere. You gotta make sure the dog is good in between the paws. You wanna make sure he's good everywhere. So underneath the neck, you know, if you're you're putting a harness on your dog, you wanna check underneath the armpits. If you put collars on your dogs, you wanna check underneath the neck. Oh, that a go boy. That a go boy. Look at that beautiful neck. Good. If you have floppy-eared dogs who are prone to ear infections, you gotta check the ears. And even kind of rub on the ears, because you'll know if your dog has an ear infection, they'll be very irritated by that. Good. Okay, come there. Down, down. Ah! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got you now, dude. Oh, I got you. Oh, good boy. All right, so now that we got him on his back, belly to the ear. And, and he doesn't have much fur on his belly, so we can kind of see. We don't really need to feel too much. We can, we can see if there's any problems going on. Oh, boy. Look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. Oh, good boy. Good. Good. Come here. All right, buddy. Good boy. Good job.